All right, today we're going to do a, <clears throat> a simple, really simple stutter effect. Not an echo, but a stutter. And um, to show you what that is, we've already got one that I put together. And this is, again, using Jason's voice. And this is what he sounds like if he stuttered. Best Country 99. That's all there is to it. And we're going to show you how to do that. Um, the reason I'm going to do it this way I'm going to do it two different ways. I've actually got this one that I've already done also, and I'm actually going to show you how to do them both. Um, if you zoom in on this one, and we um, we take out what we produced or what we stuttered, <clears throat> you'll see that I didn't grab the whole beginning of this. And the reason you don't want to do that is because it'll sound a lot more natural if you just skip the first you know, split second of that, and you also won't get that pop. See, this is what the stutter itself sounds like. Okay, but now, got to get my lunch out of my way. Um, if you were to select that whole first part of it, you're going to notice a pop. And that's bad. So, that's, uh, that's the, the starting stutter little effect here. And then we just do uh, redo that. We're going to put that all back up there. And that's what he'll sound like. Best Country 99. We're giving Taylor Swift a salute and Kanye West the boot. Don't interrupt the girl. Don't interrupt the girl. I thought I had another one there, but I guess not. So, let's see. Which one was that? Oops. Wrong zoom. Okay, that was the first one. So, that, that's, that's the beginning stutter effect. Now, the middle stutter effect <clears throat> is a little bit trickier, but not a whole lot trickier. <clears throat> um... Usually when I do a stutter effect, I pick the, the power punch syllables and meaning the B's, the P's, um, you know, things like that. Anything with that really hard hit right at the beginning because it just gives it so much more effect. Um, S's you can do it with, but then it just sounds like you're half snake and it. I always thought it sounded kind of goofy. Um, K's are a really good one to do as well. And the one thing you'll, K, K's are a little bit trickier. Um, but they are a lot better when we get into our next stutter effect, which is going to be the power down stutter effect. Um, K's are really cool sounding when, when you do those. And, uh, okay, so we're going to, we're going to listen to this one here. And th this is a middle stutter. It's the same concept as the beginning stutter, only obviously it's done in the middle of the line. So we're going to listen to this little clip right here. 1047 strikes you with the best music ever recorded. Okay. Now, if you zoom in on this, and we get to the right spot, and we, we're just going to take those those back off of there. And you can actually see where, it's, where it originally was. And um, it's, it's really simple. It's just copy-paste. And one thing you're going to want to learn to do if you don't already do it with these programs, um, and there's a, there's a hundred of them you can use to to do this particular thing, this copy-paste method. Um, you don't want to get in the habit of using your mouse to do the copy-paste. Learn to use your hotkeys. Control-C for copy, Control-V for paste. That way you're not, your, your stutter will be perfect every time. It'll be perfectly in sync with itself. And then if you want to change that, you want to change the timing between them, whatever, you can go in there and manually do that. But if you really want that perfect little stutter sound, and you're going to want that when you start doing power downs and power ups, and uh, otherwise it'll start sounding kind of weird. So just get used to hitting control C, control V. It's really quick. It's really easy. And um, control A, of course, is redo. And uh, so there, there's the stutter effect. And like I said, it's really simple. I use this program to do most of my stuttering and um, my power ups and power downs. Uh, this is Magic Music Editor 2.0. It comes free when you buy Magic's Music Maker 12. And version 15 is out now. I do not know if this program comes with it. I bought the program. I haven't played with it much yet. Um, uh, if you're doing MP3 files, if you're trying to export MP3 files with this particular program, you are going to need an encoder to do it. And uh, this program will, will, will let you do it 20 times with its encoder, and then you have to buy the encoder, which is 10 bucks. If you're going to be doing a lot of work with this program, and I mean this package of programs, this, this Magic's, series there's three of them there's music magic's music maker editor and then there's another one i can't remember the mastering suite that's what the other one is 
and you're you're gonna want that encoder for all three of them you can use an external one but the one that's built for this program works so much better it's only 10 bucks lifetime license it's well worth 10 bucks and um that's all that's all there is to that and then next time like i said we're gonna do the power down effect and uh if we have time we're gonna do the power up effect which is always a fun little little thing to do so um magics get that program if you if you can if you want um like I said, you can do this in, in a lot of programs. Um, I like this one because Magic's, the other one, is a really visual program. The the Music Maker is a real visual program, and you can actually see the layers of your audio files and stack everything how you want it, tighten it up, loosen it, whatever you want to do with it. And we're going to do a lesson on that, too, one of these days. Um, I would recommend getting it. Um, a lot of people tell me that, you know, I have all these expensive programs. You know, I run SoundForge, SoundBooth, and all them ones. And sure, they're all fine and dandy, and they're great. They're they're awesome programs. I do use them a lot, but not everybody can afford a $400 program, which is why we're doing these videos with these inexpensive and or free programs. So you should be able to do some pretty intense production with under, well, about 150 bucks worth of software. And uh, then all you got to do is get yourself some imaging elements and music beds. You can make your own music beds in Music Maker. And um, a lot of advanced editing options there as well. And stingers, I'm going to show how to make those. They are very time-consuming. They are very complicated. And um, they're actually composed of lots of sounds. And you really got to be careful with copyright issues when you're pulling, you know, uh, all kinds of weird stuff like that. Um, there are royalty-free ones out there. If you don't feel like making your own stingers, you can go buy some. Uh, we sell some on our website, as a matter of fact, at soundlizard.com on our store. Um, they're really inexpensive. There's even some free ones up there, and the free ones are just as good as the bought ones <clears throat> on our website. Um, they are professionally produced and mastered, and I've had a lot of lot of voiceover professionals buy them, and I've heard them used a lot. Air Media also sells them for a reasonable price. <clears throat> And he has quite a few of them, al along with uh, beds and sounders and drones. Um, drones is one thing he has that we don't have up yet. We will, we were planning on doing that, but it's becoming kind of painstaking. So that's the that's the lesson on stuttering. And check out this program. You can download it for free and get partial use out of it and see if you like it. And then if you like it, you can buy the full version. And um, that's that's all there is to that one. This one works really good with Audacity, the program we used to do our widening yesterday. So I'm starting to ramble, so I'm just going to kill this video while while I'm ahead here. And we'll get this puppy up and running, and then later on we're going to do the power down effect. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.